Hi everyone. Welcome to Apalachicola, the oyster capital of the world. And right behind us here is a big pile of oyster shells. Looks like a pile of rocks, but it is oyster shells here. But wait a minute, folks. Aren't we out here in Arizona? Yes, we are. But as you know, in true traveling tramp fashion, we're about nine months behind in our videos. We still have two trips that we haven't uploaded yet. Yeah. So we're going to go back to spring break of last year. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our 2022 spring break road trip. We are in beautiful, sunny Florida. Apalachicola is beautiful. Yeah. And it's a beautiful, nice, warm winter day. <laughs> yeah. Behind us is a huge pile of oyster shells. This is a, an oyster processing, fish processing plant here. You can see that name is Levin Seafood from across the way. And uh, these are the shells where they deshell the oysters. And out behind us here is the Apalachicola Bridge, the start of it. It's a long bridge, it's two, three miles long. And uh, we'll take a drive across it soon. What do you think of that big pile of oyster shells? <laughs> do you like oysters? Know. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Maybe if they're cooked. We don't eat raw oysters. Out in front of us is the Apalachicola River here. They have a nice river walk. We're going to take a walk along and see some of the boats. The Apalachicola River is, is a good sized river. The bay is, is over here on the other side of the bridge and it is really big. It's a beautiful sunny day. You can hear the seagulls out there. And the reason the seagulls are over there is that is a fishing, uh, those are fishing boats and that's a fishery over there. Uh, we'll take a walk by that in a second. Get a little closer view of the seagulls. They wait for the fishing boats to come in and when they clean the fish, they get the waste. That's why they hang out by the fishing fisheries. See some of the boats here. Get a better view of the Apalachicola Bridge over there. I'm taking a little walk. Uh, you can see my mother is immediately going to a bench here to sit down and take a rest. 
Across the street is something called the Grady Market. Uh, looks like they might rent rooms up on top. I see the recliners out there for people to sit and look at the view. And the Grady Market looks like a like a shop that you can buy clothing and tourist related items. I'm gonna take a walk up here. Last year's video, they had a floating dock out here. Uh, the floating dock isn't in here anymore, but it looks like you can take a walk out on this. But it's not floating either, it's hard. Maybe they had some bad weather or something like that and the floating dock is gone. Uh, but that's where we walked out on the floating dock where you could feel it moving as you were walking. It's weathered. Huh. It There's a few pelicans out here with the seagulls too. Try to get a better view of one of them. It's a beautiful little river walk. You got some fountains over here. There we go, just like the Bellagio in Las Vegas. But we are in Apalachicola. Apalachicola is on the Forgotten Coast of Florida. The Forgotten Coast is, it runs from south of Panama City Beach and around the Apalachicola Peninsula here. And then uh, back up toward the main, main part of Florida. This is in the panhandle. No unauthorized docking. Riverfront park fee is $2 per foot per night. Contact the chief of police. And if you don't pay the fee, the chief of police will contact you. And these are the two fishing boats that I was referring to. It looks like there's three of them here. This is the Miss Martha. You can see how high they are. And that's why they build the Apalachicola Bridge up so that the bigger boats can come in here. There's a couple more behind here. And they're the fish, fishing boats for the 13 mile seafood market, which is right here. You can see one of the smaller fishing boats come in. You can see the nets up above it. And a couple of pelicans. Colorful one in the water. This partner up here on the end of the pole. I'm assuming, I don't know, I am not a bird expert, there's another uh, pelican right down below, but the colorful one is probably the male, um, and most times that's the, it's to attract the females, and the other two would be 
the female pelicans, some seagulls. But I don't know if that's accurate or not. I'm not a, I'm not an expert in pelicans, and uh, but it look, looks like they wait for the fish, fish remains, the fish guts, just like the seagulls do. You like seeing the pelicans? Do you like seeing the pelicans? Yeah, yeah I do. Yes, there's four of them. Well, there's even more. But there's these are up. These are up close. Fishing charters. They used to have a sign here last year that said something along the lines of anything that you buy here was caught this morning. But I do not see that sign anymore. But you can buy fish, obviously, and other types of seafood. And that's into the downtown area. One block over is Main Street. We're on Water Street, and we're going to take a walk, a block over, and uh, walk along Main Street. See my mother out there looking at the fishing boats. Beautiful little town. Beautiful little town. <laughs> yeah.